Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Play Streets of Rogue. I'm joined by a special guest today. Perhaps you can see him. Hello, my son. I placed a box on the desk. He's he's tantalized by the pull of the box. He can't leave. He wants to leave. He keeps sticking his face out like but his his body refuses to leave the box. It's like you can't see him, but he's going. Hey, don't lick my water bottle, okay? That's for me. Alright, are you gonna be you're gonna behave? He's gonna behave. Behaving as a cat is very simple. Just like sit, go to sleep. The ideal retired lifestyle. Anyway. Stark game. Where are we at as far as uh, our chicken nugget baseline right now? 23. I'm going to save up for a little bit. It doesn't take us very long to get more than that. Um, and then let's random investment banker. Okay. So in it, for investment banker, very good stats, but we have to avoid withdrawal by constantly taking syringes. You can also borrow money and items in shops cost less. Honestly, the big thing there is there's no real negatives, you know? Except for the, you know, constantly having to take drugs, I suppose. So it's like once per minute. We also have sugar, which I'm assuming is going to soak. Oh, wait, wait, wait. And we have to get less than four withdrawals on this floor. Okay, interesting. But we do know this guy, drug dealer. Um, Buy from shop. What do you got? You got a syringe for 32? I'll come back for you. The fact that the drug dealers are identified maybe makes it more plausible for us to make it through this. Um, I should probably figure out if sugar uh, gets rid of our withdrawal. I think there's a reasonable case for why it would or would not. We only have our fists available. Let's, let's just punch this door down. This one's not locked. <laughs> so we're just gonna have to beat this guy up. Money. We ate sugar. Okay, sugar is actually fine. Um, it does get rid of our withdrawal. We're very, very fast. Oh, by the way, I'm totally stupid. We started with 350 bucks. I thought maybe we started with zero, because that's what you start as with like literally everybody else, but um, my bad. We have to destroy this generator. Okay. I'm going in. I, I'll fight all the scientists. Does not frighten me. Just keeping an eye on our withdrawal symptoms. Okay, that was a crit. Dude, the investment banker is strong. One banana equals four scientists. Oh, there's a syringe, dude. And, oh, they're all dropping syringes. Yo, that's a great tool. So we should learn that uh, some scientists will drop syringes when they're killed. And the syringe is invincibility, which is unbelievably strong. Okay, so we're going to take one of those. I don't really care about being invincible right now. But obviously we want to avoid the withdrawal symptoms. Now, we'll leave... Oh, we didn't loot the fridge. We did loot the fridge. We'll leave. Speak to the drug dealer. Oh, there's two drug dealers, actually. You're going to sell me every syringe you got, which is one syringe. Cigarettes might also count. Then we're going to walk outside. Dude, teleporting is going to be, like, so critical here. And we're going to see what he's got. A syringe, cigarettes again, sugar. Okay. Okay. So I don't want to necessarily spend that much money, but I really want to complete the big quest so we can get some levels up. There's our first one. We, we have like no weapons. <laughs> um, sure, I think explosions are one of the leading causes of instant death in this game, so I think this is a relatively good idea. Let's see where we're going here. Um, okay. So we have 30 seconds until withdrawal. We have a confused syringe and a fast syringe. Obviously, I would just prefer not to use the confused one, but you got to do what you got to do, I suppose. 
We could always use the confused one as like an aggression sort of thing. Hold on, I don't think we want to do crate first. Can't go there. Yet. Don't go there, girlfriend. Remember that? You know what? Uh, let's, uh, let's actually pop this invincibility syringe. And then I'm just gonna pop off. We don't have to kill everybody. But I definitely want to, like, kill enough people to get some weapons. We got 12 seconds. It's a long time. Probably go for the guy who's not clerk first. There you go. Okay, so now we have a baseball bat, safe combination, a little bit of food. Fantastic news. Unlock safe, open lock doors. There might be real turrets around. There's cameras, maybe not turrets. Dude, okay. See, we're, we're using our brain. It's a good time to point out. Um, thank you so much for all the, the positive comments on Streets of Rogue. People have been saying ridiculously positive things to me and also giving me a lot of tips. I really appreciate it. People, you know, when you get a comment like, uh, Hey, NL, this is my favorite series on YouTube right now. Feels real good. Thanks a lot. I'm going to pop sugar and then use our newfound speed to ruin this guy's life. Now, I don't really want to free everybody slash anybody from this prison. How did you know? Hacking tool. Could be useful. Okay. Like, you're not part of the prison. I don't understand why you would be mad. I guess this is, like, you know, your domicile. But still. I'm not too worried about getting the extra nuggets from quests right now. Just because we're on a time crunch from the withdrawal situation here. And remember, I really don't want to take three. I'll only take three if I have to. Baseball bat must have broke. Whoops. No, no. No, no. Why did I go for this guy? Honestly, I want his gun. And we didn't pick it up. Run. Um, throw some banana peels. <laughs> throw a rock in there. We have a little food. Uh, take four, which is more fast. Yeah. I don't know. Somebody else picked up his gun, I think. Decent. Really appreciate the full health on that one. You, it wasn't worth it, brother. It wasn't worth it. Okay. We did see drug dealers. We basically got all of our money back. And, dude, honestly, it's been working so far. Rage poison? <laughs> Tell you what, how about no? I forgot we still had the cigarettes in our inventory, too. I think that's going to be enough to make it through the next floor, assuming cigarettes actually work. Let's test it. Uh, right click. Sorry. Does not work. Okay. Well, still. We have other syringes now. We did level up. I think we'll go for endurance, which as far as I know is, yeah, just more HP. It, it, it seems helpful. I mean, for obvious reasons, but I think, like, even more helpful than you might expect. Okay, trust no one. We have to rescue worker... You don't want any part of this, dude. Look, I'm not messing around. We don't have a whole lot of uh, stuff going on for us right now. If I get the opportunity to ice someone that's coming after me, I will ice someone that's coming after me. So you have 30 seconds of feeling all right. And as far as I'm concerned, dude, gun, baseball bat, it's all the same to me. 35 seconds of feeling all right, no problem. As of right now, he took a syringe. You son of a gun. Explosions caused by the player do not hurt the player. I really needed that syringe, dude. Oh, it was resurrection. Oh my word. Okay, thanks for the knife. Um, let, let's get the heck... You know what? Actually, I want to try something. Back it up. Back it up. Thought maybe that would blow the window open. Life goes on. So you, you want to go to the ex... Oh my lord. To the exit. Uh, let's take four, which is invisibility. We're pretty close to having to take confusion. Destroy and retrieve is the last one here. You get in there. 
Okay. Hope just make it through this floor and then you got you don't have to worry about it. And we've completed our quest. We should definitely buy some stuff though. Excuse me, sir, I'm invisible. Go ahead, uh, make me quick teleport, see if I care. I just want to get out, please. God, he's good. Officer. Officer, I'm being chased right now. Uh, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go, go ahead. I, I rely on myself right now. Life goes on. We got, we got stuff we can eat anyway. Sorry, let me try to get the microphone arm out of the video frame. It didn't work. Life goes on. Not a drug dealer. Just a couple of dudes having a bad time. You know what? Drinking a bunch of sodas. And we're confused. We're confused for 40 seconds. My word. So it's a really good time for us to uncover stuff on the map. Uh, particularly, you know, drug dealers. Scientists. I've already inverted my brain. So this is no longer an issue for me. You can't really, you don't see the ill effects, but my controls are inverted right now. We have to kill the shop owner, or the bartender. I really need him to come over here, because moving only makes my life worse. I'm glad these guys do not seem to care. Okay. Whip whip. AKA, who cares? Um, grab some food real quick. Oh, uh, normal controls. Thank you. We desperately need to find... Go ahead, dude. I don't care. We desperately need to find uh, some kind of narcotic. Yo! Weak. I can live with that. We got insanely lucky just to find it in general. So we got to operate all these buttons. We got a minute. It's not that bad. Look, I would have rather taken the non-hostile approach. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. That was with weakness, by the way. So everything's hunky-dory as far as I'm concerned. Hello. Uh, I think he knows what's up. We probably don't need to beat down, like, literally every single door. Hold on. But it, 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 when it works, it works. Can't deny that. Augmentation, ammo dispenser. I will. I will spend money on ammo. But uh, I think we need to talk to more NPCs because like the big quest is working. But I think we definitely want a uh, crit chance. Especially if we're going to be shooting a lot. A one-hit KO is worth a lot. Um, are you a science lab by chance? Because we only got 10 seconds till life is going to... You are a science lab. I'm going in. Drop a syringe. He didn't. Okay, so I, I got withdrawal. That's all right. We, we can have... We can have up to two per floor. Sure, why not? Open locked doors. Um, oh, <laughs> started popping off, dude. Withdrawal, as you can see, uh, hurts us. So we, we desperately need to find another drug dealer maybe as soon as possible. Um, uh, I didn't, oh, hold on. Don't get too, like, mind flooded here. It's one damage now and then. Um... It's not to say it's a it's not something to worry about, but I'm hope okay. We can definitely just stock up in here, dude. We'll probably level up on this floor or the next floor as well. Um, buy from shop. Yes. I have no idea if electro pill will work, but we we might as well try him, right? Um, so please, poisons. Got to do what you got to do, I guess. Any any port in a storm. All right, let's go complete some missions. This is an interesting playstyle. There's no doubt about that. No, we don't want to go here. HP is going to be a little tight, though. 
neutralize this guy. Okay. HP is in such a bad spot, though. Yikes. Oh, big yikes. Never mind. We've, we've turned the... We turn society against them. Big, good stuff, good stuff. So we don't have a whole lot of freaking time here. We're gonna have to take our sugar soon. I'm just looking, I don't know, maybe, uh, presumably if we talk to uh, members with gang affiliation, we might be able to Uh, buy drugs off of them even if they're not listed as a drug dealer on the map, but I don't know that for certain. Oh, it's a, it's an actual turret, you dummy. Almost got ourselves killed there. Just trying to loot. Um, send me. I don't care about the bonus mission. I'm just really trying to stay alive. <laughs> um, very concerned about this next floor, to be honest with you. We did not level up. We might level up if we can complete a mission. Rescue a slum dweller and operate all buttons. Status effects in the air? Dude. That does not impact withdrawal, which is really annoying. Dizzy is really bad. I basically can't move. Oh, never mind. It totally does. And we also got health regen, which is unbelievably advantageous. Hello. Um, good God. Um, I think he's invincible. I really appreciate that quick escape teleporter. We were in a bad spot. Dude, to be honest, that character is pretty tough for me. <laughs> Yeah, let's let's try being a slum dweller here. That that character is a little too too tricky for me. Um, I was running into some serious mind flooding situations. Oh, uh, you know what? Let's uh, yoink, go down a level here. Mission: Make upper crusty payments every floor via ATM or bank clerk. If you fail a level, you can make it up later. Okay, so we want as much money as possible. I understand. Knock, knock. Open up the door. It's real. I'll make that joke every time. This guy, to die to me when you have a hard hat is an embarrassment. To you as a human being. I would just like to get a, a real weapon. I'm not really concerned about much else, as long as I can just get, uh, like, a baseball bat or something. Um, like, from you, for example. Just try to keep the other allied units at bay. Oh, uh, I didn't... You, if I wanted to be in here, you'd already be dead, brother. Come on, come on, chase him. Corner him. You know the map. You know the map. I need that bat. <sighs> He's great. One of the greatest. I really thought we were going to get hit. All this for a baseball bat, really? Like... I think maybe we should use stealth. Instead of just running him down. He doesn't know. Thank God. Okay. We're back, boys. Got a banana and everything. Okay. Well, dude, I'll tell you. I do not want to aggro this guy necessarily. I definitely wanted what was in his refrigerator. And we need 50 friggin' gold. You know who's rich, dude? Friggin' scientists. Plus, I killed their bodyguard. I don't even want to talk about how the baseball bat broke after a single hit. That's like the saddest story ever written. Good, good hit, good hit. 
They got ball players too, kid. That was a decent amount of money, honestly. So we got knife now. You know, it's really sad that I've been led to a life of crime. Just because of circumstance. Basically, you gotta kill everybody. Is it? Yeah, okay. I don't want to kill everybody. I should maybe look for high value targets. I mean, that guy had nothing. There was no excuse there. We can also miss a floor. But, you know, you don't want to miss your first floor. It sets... Puts you on a bad path, you know what I mean? I think it's going to do it for this episode. We never really... If our first run doesn't get off the ground, it's usually a disaster. And this was a disaster. But our next run could be 50 minutes. So I don't want to start that. I'll start it in the next episode. For now, thanks for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. And I will see you next time. See ya!